um, when it came to the decision, I sort of had, I called it like a, like a checklist, you know, before I was really certain about a school and it was, I wanted to be somewhere where my parents could see me play, even if it was a couple times a year, you know, be able to come and watch me. I wanted to go to a place where it wasn't going to be a financial burden on my family, you know, that, um, cause that was, you know, that's a big reason why I play sports and take it so seriously. Um, and the last one is that I wanted to go somewhere where I could make an impact early on. Um, and it seemed like UP was that for me. Um, and the other thing too, is that I even saw this from, I think it was the Boston college quarterback who was a Notre Dame transfer. And he said that I went to Notre Dame for the brand, but I went to BC for the people. And Mm -hmm. I wanted to keep that sort of thing in mind when I chose my school. And I wanted to make sure that I was going somewhere where I really trusted the people, you know, that were going to be taking care of me for four years um, or three years, hopefully. But um, so that was, uh, that was sort of the decision. And I love the people at UP, you know, they made me feel like it was home. We started doing, we broke it up. So we had a number of several groups going throughout the day, Mm -hmm. um, two or three days a week, sort of rotating, um, just trying to get everyone into the weight room, five people at a time split up, like all masks on. But I think that the thing that I've realized the most having that taken away is just how important those interactions are for me. And that I honestly like it, feeling very isolated when you're normally, especially as an athlete in a team sport, always surrounded by people that even if you consider yourself like more of an introvert, you're still used to having 50 people around you in a football locker room all the time, you know? And it's the thing that I found is I just miss being around people my age, you know? And it's like, uh, those are the interactions that I find myself missing now. It's not the football, you know, and I, and I think that's it. I think it's the same way for everybody, you know, and I was, I was talking, I have this, we have this group chat with me and a couple of my friends who I've played football with since the third grade all together, all of us, you know, um, especially my two, three friends we've played together since the fourth grade, um, all on the same team. And the funny thing is that we've been talking about this year since that time you know because I think as a as a kid involved in you know youth football for for us like we were all talking about our senior year high school right because I you sort of you there's a certain kind of aspiration if you're going to go play college football we knew that was a whole different thing um and it's we were sending old pictures in the group chat and are like hey remember when we were talking about this year um, and I, and I think it's hard cause there are so many memories wrapped up in this thing and so many aspirations, especially for seniors in high school, um, that I think that's the hard part for people to grapple with and that I feel like you're not doing something, you know, and that we're not looking for everything, but you know, anyways. I noticed there's a picture behind you from way back when. That's, that's me and my buddy Alex Hong in the third grade <laughs> CCYF championship game. After I, I was a, like a defensive end and I made a tackle in the backfield and threw my fist in the air um, and he came to tackle me. So, yeah. Schools, it, the thing that I found is that I've, I've never, I'm a pretty motivated student, you know, throughout yeah. high school and that I've, I've never been someone, even though I've been at AP classes who has, dealt with enormous amounts of stress in terms of work and in in terms of even when I've had mountains of work that I've had to do it's never been an overwhelming thing for me Mm -hmm. and I think the reason behind that is that I've never had to be like my own self-motivator when it came to school you know because it was just for me I did school for six hours a day and in terms of you know, thinking about that as an athlete, it's like, if I worked out for, if I had six hours a day where I had nothing to do, but like, this is your workout time, like you're going to work out enough. You know what I'm saying? And so when it came to school, it's like, I never had to find time to do school. And now it's difficult with the online school staying connected and feeling like you have a place to do it for me. And so it's just, the stress has been multiplied, you know, by a factor of 10 
it when it's like just because I I'm not in the space where you're supposed to do it and I I never really thought that the physical space was so important but I'm someone that hated homework in the same way you know I was a good student but I hated homework and I think that just had to do with the space that I was in and I think that's that way for so many kids in that I, I think they learning for them is hard in their home and that's why I think a lot almost every kid learns better at school than they do at home you know so it, so, it's been a struggle for yeah. sure so, so um, you hate so you hated homework so you typically try to get everything done at school so you wouldn't right. have homework and now exactly. that's pretty and much all like, you have exactly um and and i think i there's a large population of kids like that um and i don't think i'm alone in that and then i was always a good student and when i had homework i would i would power through but now you're looking at you know, you get done with a live class in which it, it's hard to do a worksheet like you would with you and a teacher yeah. um, just in the same room. And, and I feel like that's how I learned a lot of times. It's like, no, listen to me talk for an hour. And then in your on-demand class tomorrow, you're going to do an assignment based on what I just said. Instead of doing it 15 minutes after I said it'd be a day later. It's just, this isn't how learning has worked for kids. And it's like, there's a reason why we did it the way we did it, you know. Um, so uh, it, it's been a struggle and it's definitely been a source of anxiety and stress. Um, and it's hard because anxiety and stress for me have always been, I've always been able to find an outlet in sports for that. Right. Because I, I'm stressing out at school, you know, I have to get good grades. I'm looking to get a scholarship and no school wants to offer the kid with a, you know, whatever 1.0. So, um, I'm trying to give myself as many opportunities as I, as I can with my work in the classroom. And it's like, okay, finally the school ends and I can go run around and hit somebody on a football field, or I can go and swing a bat as hard as I can at a baseball, you know? And those are stress relievers and being with your friends is, is a stress reliever. And it's like, okay, you know, this isn't so bad. And not having that and just, you know being at home and sitting and staring at it it you know it creates a lot of stress and and I don't honestly blame the kids who have been who it's been super difficult to even get on a live class or you know do all these things that are are so normal for them in normal life like it doesn't mean that they're not motivated kids it just means that this isn't working for them you know and it's hard because I relate so much to those people and I can understand how there are kids really suffering through this. And, um, uh, you know, I have friends like that and it's hard seeing your friends sort of separate and not because they don't want to be involved, but it just feels like the only way they can be involved in their online classes, you know, how they're supposed to be is, is a source of stress and anxiety for them. And so they just kind of separate. I don't blame those kids, you know, and it's, it's hard seeing that. Uh, I think for me, it's, I am such a people person. They're like, I just, I, I'm one of those people who learns the best by just floating around and gathering information. And also I'm the kid who you look at in class and you're like, how did they get any work done? Because I'm talking most of the time, but somehow I turn in an A paper every time, just because it's, it's the way that I am. You know, I'm a very extroverted person and I think the only thing I, I've been able to do is sort of push, put my head down and just push through because it's not going to be a good time for someone like me, you know, for someone that is so wrapped up in their relationships with other people. And that is so much a part of why they like coming to school. Cause I was always one of those people. Like, I know that makes me weird, I guess, for people my age, but like, being around a bunch of people every day was awesome. You know, it's, it's awesome. And I loved going to school. Honestly, I like being around people and I like being in my classes and talking to people. And it's, it's one of these things where it's like, I, I know that's one thing that makes me who I am and I don't have that thing. So just power through, you know, just put your head down and things are going to change. And cause I know that, and I, whatever the timeline has been extended a million times, but put your head down and at some point things will be back to normal. Um, and that's, that's sort of the thing that I found some, you know, found some purpose in is just put your head down and things eventually will work themselves out. Um, and trying to also, 
you know, the same thing about giving myself opportunities. You know, I don't want to come out of this time and feel like I lost a bunch of opportunities. I want to feel like I bettered myself and I gave myself more opportunities through this time and through, you know, whether that's just through powering through and doing all the online work or, you know, working out when you don't feel like it or you haven't seen anybody or, you know, just going day to day. Um, I, I think that's all I can do at this point. So.